Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Now at 6 a.m. on WKYT, Lexington's bomb squad clears the scene in downtown Paris overnight where a suspicious package was addressed to police. We'll tell you what it turned out to be. A Central Kentucky attorney is in jail accused of stealing a client's identity. And going mad over the madness. We're getting you ready for a new basketball season on your official station for UK Sports. Those stories and more breaking news as it happens coming up on WKYT this morning. Top of the morning to you and welcome. It's so good to have you with us here on this Friday. So good to know we have some sunshine on the way as well. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Thanks so much for being here. We do have a little bit of a breaking news situation. Situation in regards to Ebola. According to uh, CBS News, the Obama administration has said that a Dallas healthcare worker, worker who handled a lab specimen mm -hmm. is being monitored from a cruise ship, apparently, apparently who's been self contained. Has gone on a cruise ship, yeah. Yeah, uh, so. So that story is breaking this moment. We'll have the details as we can get them. Let's go to uh, meteorologist Micah Harris, who's tracking weather for us. Good morning. I mean, that's kind of like, what? Well, we don't. We don't know yet. Yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll get more details. First Alert Defender Live Radar, there is your sweep. I'll stick to weather and let you guys take care of those details. 50 degrees in Richmond, 49 in Frankfurt. Uh, it's a good looking start to the morning. By the afternoon, you talk about a really nice day. 70 degrees, much, much nicer feel and a better look, too. We're getting the rain on out of here for today. And then toward the weekend, we bring a little bit more back in. Nice little cool blast. So enjoy today. Take advantage of it because this weekend we may even see some frost. 70 degrees of frost. Yeah, you live in Kentucky, right? I'll show you that forecast coming up. Micah, thank you. Let's get to the news. We're tracking a crime alert this morning after a man was found murdered inside his eastern Kentucky home. State police say an anonymous tip yesterday led them to the home on Dyer Branch Road, north of West Liberty. 33-year-old Randy Williams was dead inside, and state police say he had been shot several times. The coroner thinks he was actually murdered on Wednesday, but his body was not found until yesterday. No arrests have been made. A woman is in jail this morning after police say she tried to cash a fake check for hundreds of dollars. The Laurel County Sheriff's Office charged Jamila Owens with identity theft and forging of a uh, possession of a forged instrument. Police say Owens had an ID card with her picture and the name of the fake check. Deputies say she tried to cash the $1,400 check at the Corbin Walmart. They say she may have tried the same thing in Williamsburg and in Tennessee. A Central Kentucky attorney is accused of stealing a client's identity. Georgetown police say Rhonda Cooper took out many credit cards in the victim's name and then quickly racked up charges. They say Cooper charged everything from bills to expenses for a night out on the town, leaving the victim with the bills. She started getting credit letters. You know, you're late on your payments to this Discover card. And she's like, I don't have a Discover card. And then she starts getting the collection calls. Your account's passed due. You're, I mean, then this just kept going on and on and on. So she's working back through it. And then she realizes, you know, my identity's been stolen. Cooper faces six counts of identity theft, one for each card she is accused of opening. Tense moments overnight for a central Kentucky town. A suspicious package shut down Main Street in Paris. The package was addressed to Paris police. Not taking any chances, Lexington's bomb squad was called in to help. WKOT's Mark Barber is at the live desk to explain what they found. Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. Well, police say that it turns out that the package was not dangerous. Police say it was a gift of shoe polish for the police department. Now, investigators tell us they brought on the Lexington bomb squad to open the package because they wanted to be careful after officers found another suspicious package outside the Lexington Police Department earlier this month. Investigators say they called for help after someone spotted the package on Main Street in Paris around 1130 last night. Officers closed Main Street from Ace Hardware to 6th Street until a robot opened the package around midnight. Inside the package were shoe inserts, shoe polish, and sponges for officers. Investigators say anytime someone sees something suspicious, they need to take it seriously. Uh, but anytime anyone sees something like that, they do need to call the police. They need to stay away from it. Don't touch it. Don't get around it. Uh, keep everyone away from it uh, and, and take it very seriously because it can turn out to be extremely dangerous. Now, investigators tell us they are trying to figure out who left the package by looking through surveillance video at nearby businesses. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT.
Mark, thank you. This morning, Republican lawmakers are pressing for a ban on travel to the United States from the West African Ebola outbreak zone. The White House says other measures are more effective. President Obama says he is considering appointing a single official to lead the nation's efforts against Ebola. Meanwhile, the Obama administration this morning says a Dallas nurse who handled a lab specimen of a Liberian man who died of Ebola is on a cruise ship with her husband. Officials say the nurse is self-quarantined and is monitoring her temperature. But officials are trying to fly her husband and as well as her home before the Caribbean cruise is over. So they are trying to outreach quickly to get her back to land. They say she has not been symptomatic for the 17 days apparently since. Um, obviously, some more details that we'll uh, get on yeah. that as the day unfolds. Well, fans camped out for days, waiting in line just to wait in another line, all for Big Blue Madness. Well, the wait is almost over. The new Kentucky basketball official uh, kickoff to it gets underway tonight. WKYT's Whitney Wetzel is live at Rupp Arena with details on some big changes this year. Good morning, everyone. A big blue madness tips off tonight. And of course, this is a huge event that many Kentucky fans look forward to each year. It is the first chance chance for them to see this year's highly recruited men's basketball team. Also, the women's coach Matthew Mitchell is known for putting on a unique dance routine that many look forward to seeing. Tickets for the event went on sale a few weeks ago, and that's always an event in itself. Hundreds camped out for days just to get their hands on tickets to this show. Big Blue Madness starts at 7 o'clock tonight, but starting at 5, we'll get you ready before the madness with a live two-hour show on the CW Lexington. As for where you can watch the madness, we have a couple of answers to that question listed on WKYT.com. To see the full show, you can watch ESPN3 online, but to do that, you must have ESPN already as part of your regular television package. Because of some changes, there's actually several different channels where you can see the show, but again, not without cable or satellite services. We're live at Rupp Arena. Whitney Watzel, WKYT. A project to expand the Mountain Parkway is moving forward. Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir helped unveil a new sign for the parkway in McGoffin County. The project will expand the Mountain Parkway to four lanes in McGoffin. State leaders say that will make it safer to boost uh, the local economy as well. Thanks to a $24 million grant, construction on the expansion project is starting ahead of schedule. The parkway will also be extended to Prestonsburg. All right, we have a major traffic alert for you this morning. This weekend, part of I-75 in Madison County will be closed. The right northbound and right southbound lane will be closed at exit 95. That's so the crews can work on the exit ramps there, and that uh, could create quite a pinch at that point. It starts tonight at 7. It's scheduled to last through Sunday night. Drivers headed north can take a detour at exit 90, and southbound drivers can take exit 97. So again, it is not an entire interstate closure, uh, but it will be uh, certainly pinching it down there at exit 95 as they work on those uh, ramps there uh, at that uh, exit. All right, let's check to see how things are moving on the roads this morning. Now let's go out to Officer Don, check on that live drive traffic. Good morning, Don. Good morning. Well, no trouble on the interstate this morning. We're just talking about the issues we'll have this weekend, but for right now, 7564. Looks okay. Even across that Clays Ferry Bridge coming in from Madison County or coming in from Scott County toward Lexington. Let's get a look outside and we'll show you what's happening as you plan to head out the door with no wrecks or delays. We're in decent shape right now there. We look at the interstate. On our Waze map, uh, we get an overall view of the city. The Circle, Man of War, inbound Versailles Road. Everything's moving okay. A couple of live drivers on the way in reporting some stalled cars here and there, but they are all over to the side. So we'll keep you up to date throughout the morning. Now back to you. Don, has Deanne ever thrown uh, coffee on you out there? Uh, you know, she's never thrown coffee. She normally drinks it out of a sippy cup, and she's thrown the sippy cup at me oh, a couple of times. Okay. But not actually the coffee itself. Well, I was wondering what had happened over here, but uh, um, uh, we've uh, Rebecca's had a coffee crisis, as uh, she calls it. So <laughs> that's why we have the end in the sippy cup. It's it's a rule. Now. Makes sense. Okay. New yeah. rule over here, maybe for you. I've got my paper towels handy. No anchor was harmed in the filming of this morning show. Okay. <laughs>
He is dry, perfectly dry. What a mess, though. <laughs> All right, more work to be done. Uh, our time is 6.09, Friday morning on WKYT, and it feels like it. And WKYT this morning is just getting started. More news on the way. It's a chilly start to the morning here, but in California, the heat can be, let's just say, a real bear. <laughs> I got that one. That was a good one, I guess. Frankfurt at 49 degrees, 50 there in Richmond. It's a bit chilly, but hey, toward the afternoon, we're looking at the 70s. But enjoy while it lasts, because it doesn't last long. I'll show you your weekend forecast coming up.